Hello, I'm from the US government. We noticed you managed to cock block our latest attempt to strip you of your health care. Now you can finally relax and let down your guard. Cause after seven long years of trying to undo the legacy of that brutal Muslim Kenyan dictator, we realize it's finally time for us to move on to something else. Such as sabotaging Obamacare to justify our next attempt to strip you of your health care and replace it with wealth care. Do you suffer from a pre-existing condition such as not being rich? No problem. Unlike complex Obamacare, wealth care offers a simple solution. If you ain't as rich as Mitch McConnell, just fuck off and die. No mess, no fuss. That's right. By leaving over 20 million more of you uninsured, cutting Medicaid, and raising premiums, and discriminating against a raft of pre-existing conditions, wealth care should kill at least 36,000 of you annually. That's 12 9-11s each year. Which might sound like a lot of dead people, but it's a sacrifice we're willing to make to protect innocent Americans from socialism. We know we've struggled recently to pass wealth care in the Senate, but rest assured we won't stop till we repeal Obamacare and what's that? What you really want is Medicare for all, like most other civilized nations in the world? Aw, sweetheart, you know there's no money for that. But hey, here are some things we do have money for. Trump's visits to Mar-a-Lago, Trump's golf games, big boat that shoots million dollar missiles, more of these useless pieces of shit, maintaining the American empire, and of course $3.2 trillion for the most expensive crappy healthcare in the world when Medicare for all would cost only half that much. Wealth care. Who needs health care anyway when you have Jesus? Authorized by the Department of Wealth and Inhumane Services.